All right, today we're going to be talking about Lightspeed with LS Cache and how it can benefit your WordPress blog and site and give you the boost that you need. I've done a very detailed clone of one site on one server with similar specs to another site on another server with the same specs. The difference being one has Lightspeed with LS Cache, the other one has just Apache. Uh, they're both based on cPanel, latest version with CentOS 7.5, along with KVM virtualization. So we're just going to show you a quick analysis of the page results from the .com version of my site. As you can see, it's pretty amazing. I mean, the page time, fully loaded time is a little low, but uh, or a little high for some people's taste, but I believe it's just the metrics here. But just comparing it to the other thing, that's almost a 50% increase in performance. When you look at the file size, the requests are down. It's just overall across the board just has a lot of stuff. There's probably a couple of things I forgot to optimize because it was just cloning them around. And, but anyways, so that's just, you know, overview of the results. So you can see that there's some things I must I might have toggled off, but they're the same on both of them configuration wise and there's the waterfall comparison if you've never used gt metrics you're really missing out it's an amazing tool to compare and see what you could do to better optimize your site and then there's just some graphs it's pretty much the same stuff anyway so let's just go ahead and take a look at both of these sites let me open this site we'll open that site this is the light speed one this is the non-light speed one so they're identical. And you can see one definitely performs better than the other. They both perform pretty well. Uh, this is a new template of mine. Um, definitely could do better though. Anyhow, so that's just the comparison of it. We're just going to go look at the plugins. So you can see that they're comparable. Here's plugins, and then we can look here. We got 27 plugins. We got less plugins over here. Uh, some of them are deactivated, but this one is the light speed one. And this one is the non light speed one. There's quite a few deactivated plugins. Uh, probably should delete those but anyhow they're pretty much the exact same thing uh, the exception is this one has the lightspeed cache plugin already set up and active I'll just go over some of the features so if you've never heard of lightspeed cache plugin with light uh, LS cache there's a lot of options here so you can go through and really customize your site and instead of it having 10 different plugins or whatever with WP Rocket or some of those other ones, and some of the free ones even, that you have to kind of combine them together to get what you want results-wise, this plugin pretty much does all of it in one thing. So it's really awesome. You can toggle it on and off. You can specify all the different settings that you want to do. You can have different parts of the pages cached and not others. There's just so many features. It's, it's really worth it. Uh, there's a little... Purge on updates, so whenever you post a new thing, it purges the cache, updates that. There's a lot of little tweaks and optimizations, and you can also have certain parts of your site that doesn't get cached. So there's a lot of, you know, functionality here. And then this is some of my favorite parts of it, is the optimization settings, where you can minify the CSS, you can combine them, you can also set up HTTP2. Um, there's a lot of little settings here. There's also, I think, a lazy load. I think that might be up next. You can disable comments in the code to even further speed up your site. Uh, there's a lot of options. Some of these you don't want to tinker with unless you really know what you're doing. But they have lots of options. So if you're an advanced person or an unadvanced, you don't have to really go through all of them. You can use some of the just the defaults with the basic settings. So they have the lazy load images. So when your site loads, it loads the images when somebody actually starts scrolling towards that part versus right away so that it'll completely load. 
And then you can also put in little placeholder images and optimize your images automatically. So what this will do is it will send your images off to be optimized specifically for web. A lot of times you take a screenshot or something and it's a huge image and it just slows down your site. Well, the Lightspeed Cache automatically optimizes all of your images and it's amazing. And they have a lot of features with that to where you can, you know, set it up for WebP versions for really going crazy with it. And you can also have it set up to automatically replace them with WebP if that browser supports it. Uh, let's see. They also have CDN settings. So like if you had Cloudflare or you had some other CDN that you wanted to use for your static content, you can set all of that up as well with Lightspeed and they'll work in synchronicity. Uh, these are some more advanced settings. I haven't really needed to use these, um, but they're there. So there's a lot of settings. You can also work with different caching for memcache, Redis, and stuff. I'm not using any of that. I haven't really had a need for that. But there's a lot of, you know, stuff that you can work with in here. So let's see. And then they have... That's pretty much it. You can have uh, all of these settings set up. Normally, when you set up this plugin, it's going to look like this. You only have three of those tabs, so you're not as confused. Those are really the, the main ones that you would use as a normal average user if you get... The point where you're really doing some further optimization you just enable it and you can go through the other stuff so that's lightspeed cache for wordpress it's really going to give you a boost in your site speed if you haven't heard about it you should definitely get some hosting with lightspeed ls cache uh, we do offer that for our shared hosting and it's amazing and we have affordable prices so you should definitely check us out uh, what the server.com get your wordpress over here if you need help moving it over let us know we can definitely migrate wordpress is over uh, we do that all the time. If you have questions, hit us up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.